Okay, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. In this video, I'm going to be going over uh, some new things I haven't done on my channel before, so just bear with me. This series of videos is going to be on modding Dark Cloud 2, uh, or Dark Chronicle if you're Japanese or European or pretentious. In this video, I'm just going to be going over the extraction tools, different things you're going to need. I'll talk about them each one by one as they come up. But the first thing you're going to need is an ISO. And there are a few different ways of getting this ISO. You can rip it straight from the disk. That's uh, You would need image burn for that. Of course, you're going to need image burn anyway. So you may as well go ahead and get that. But you can wait till later in the video, of course, until you need it. The first thing you're going to do with the ISO is create a new folder. Right, name it Dark Cloud 2 or you know whatever your, you want your new ISO to be named. You're going to need this for later, of course. Open this up and right click on Dark Cloud 2. You're going to need some kind of archive viewer or you can go ahead and mount the disk, but I don't, I don't like doing that. So I'm going to open it in WinRAR uh, and it's going to give me the usual, you know, WinRAR. And I'm um, you're going to copy and paste all of this into a new folder. Or just, you know, drag it and drop it. Uh, and of course, this is going to take several minutes. I'm probably just going to make the cut, but you're just going to have to suffer through it, my friend. And, um, and I'll see you when it's done. And there we go. And with that, you can minimize that. This is just your backup file, right? You don't need this anymore. Just set it over to the side. Forget about it. Uh, we are going to close this and create a new folder this is just gonna be a project folder uh, just keep so I don't have things strung out all over my desktop you don't have to do this um, so let's see dark dark cloud to uh, mod seems appropriate right we'll just drag and drop this in here so now you have you have the game you know in essence now you need the extraction tools. The extraction tools are for extracting this file in particular. So um, where you get those is actually maybe a little bit unorthodox. It's going to be this Discord server, and I will link it in the description down below. I may end up moving it to maybe a media file or something like that. I don't know, Dropbox. I don't know, so maybe something a bit more conventional, but for now this will work. Probably most of the people that's going to be watching this video are already in the server, so uh, yeah. Um, you're going to download darkcloudtools.rar. That'll be in the resources wiki, right, uh, channel, text channel. So you can even find it in the pinned messages. Scroll down to the bottom. There they are. You know, click it. It'll bring it to you. And just click it to download. It's going to open in Google Chrome, which, of course, for me, just doesn't work. So I'm going to have to copy and paste the URL into opera but that's fine you shouldn't have to do that hopefully your chrome works better than mine uh so let's go ahead and i'll just go ahead and do that and there you go look at that download just fine uh, i'll scan this for you it's perfectly fine i've downloaded it at least 10 times trying to record this video it's good i promise so open that close that and that and you'll have these files right here. Now, we are not going to be talking about Tim 2 Extract. We're not going to need to. Uh, you can fool around with that on your own, but I'm not going to be going over it in my videos. It's unnecessary for our purposes, right? Uh, but the other three, drag them over and close this. You don't need it anymore. Um, one thing you'll immediately notice, maybe, is that these look alike, right? So. You're not going to remember which is extract or compile. That's fine, right? The repacker, you can put in its own folder. Just to separate the two. By the way, LightCloud, actually, if you open this, you can see right here, LightCloud is the repacker. So just go ahead and drop it in its own folder and forget about it for now. The next thing you're going to need are these files. And you may have already seen them before when I pointed them out. Here they are, right? So just copy. Actually, um, maybe easier just to open a new window and drag, control click, drag and drop them over here and just move them. So you don't have to copy them. Uh, and also you won't have to overwrite them later. So that's nice too. Minimize that for now. 
um, we'll go ahead and get to it. So what you're going to need to do for this part, the way the white cloud works, uh, is through the command prompt. And if you don't know how to do this already in Windows, you hold shift on your keyboard and right click, and then you'll have this. So you see when you right click regularly, it doesn't show up. But if you shift and right click, you'll see this open command window here, right? Easy as that. And then the next step is just to copy and paste this line. So looking under white cloud extractor, copy and paste this line into the command prompt. Very straightforward. And it's going to extract the files. It's going to take a second, so I'll probably skip to when it's done. Um, yeah, so. Okay, and there it goes. Whenever it's done, it'll, I mean, this will show up over here, and this will be the prompt. So it's done unpacking. Now you may have noticed you have a new folder in the directory. So you can double click and open this, and these are the data files. These are like the, I mean, this is the game that you're looking at right here. So um, you can minimize this. We're done with it for now. And uh, you can go ahead and look through any of these files you want. But the main ones we're going to be talking about in this series are in the menu folder. You open this, and then you see these, these config folders. Of course, there are seven of them, of them for some reason. But the only ones that are actually used in the game, let's get this to the center of the screen, are these, right? I'm going to be talking about this one and this one. Uh, and those are the two primary ones you're going to be changing most likely right so i will be talking about those in later videos they'll probably each get their own video as a matter of fact but that being said we're not going into it in this video because there would be a lot to talk about i'm going to cut this video short and we're going to jump straight to repacking <laughs> the files that we just packed now you don't have to do this step you can go to the next video and and talk and go ahead and edit your files and then come back to this one uh, and then repack it but for now in this video just consolidate things I'm gonna go back over repacking things so to do that you're going to need to move these data files I'm going to assume that you've already changed what you want to change right you're going to move them into this folder with the repacker you're also going to need this HD3 it would appear that this is this is basically what tells the repacker and unpacker how to order files and basically how to separate them. So you're going to need this regardless. Just go ahead and drop it in there with the repacker like you did before. And same thing as before, shift right click, open command window here. You can go ahead and pull this, uh, this notepad out again and copy and paste this time the repacker section. Copy. Control C is what I'm doing, and Control V, just drop it in there, and run it. And again, <laughs> this will this uh, is actually a lot faster, so you won't be waiting as long. And there we go. It actually did take a little bit longer than I expected, but that's fine, right? So I just I'm probably going to cut that part out. That being said, uh, we have our new data file, right? That's just like the one that we unpacked before, except we're assuming there are some changes in there. With that, we're going to want to open up the other folder that we have with all the, the rest of the contents. And we're going to take these two files, the HD3 and the, the new data.dat, and move them into this folder. Now, this is your new game, basically. The only problem is, at in its current state, you know, you can't really do anything with it. You know, it's we can't run it. It's not an ISO. It's not going to run on PCSX2 or whatever. We can't put it on a disk and run it. So what we're going to do next is open up Image Burn. And of course, I'll link to the Image Burn official website in the description down below. But what we want to do is create an image from files. Of course, if you were ripping the ISO, you would do create image from disk, right? So that would be when you're getting the ISO. But now we want to make an ISO from these files. So we're going to do this one. And the fun thing about this is that you can just drag and drop this over here and it has the path for you. You don't have to type it in, which would be really tedious, right? So you have the files in there. It's going to copy all of these into an ISO that you can run on your PCSX2 
or put on a disc and run on your PlayStation. So I'll go ahead and do that for you just so you know that it works. It's going to have a few things pop up, and I'll tell you what to do for that. Uh, so this is it wants to know where you're putting it. So I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. I'll, I'll actually even put it in the folder if I can. There it is. I'll just go ahead and drop it in here so that I'm not conflicting with the one that's already on the desktop. Uh, yes, this is fine. Yes, that's fine. Uh, and then you look over here. All of this is fine. You don't have to worry about it. Go ahead and say OK. And it's going to take, again, <laughs> it's going to take a hot minute. Uh, a lot of waiting in between all the action, but that's fine, you know. I don't think I'll have to make a cut here. I hope I don't. I'm just so lazy when it comes to editing. Also, um, Image Burn, when you install it, has this really obnoxious noise. And it's really loud. So you might want to turn that off. I already have it turned off, so you're not going to hear it over my over my video. But you might hear it if you're doing this yourself, and it'll it might scare you a little bit. So it would be at this point. I'll go ahead and show you how to turn that off. Uh, settings, and then you go to sounds. There it is. So play success sound. You're going to want to uncheck that. I guarantee it. Uh, with that said. Now you have your new ISO. I actually dropped it in the wrong folder, but we'll move it out here. And there it is, right? So we'll go ahead and run it. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably do this this process again later on and have an actual changed version. But we'll go ahead and run it, and uh, let's see if this is the right one. Yeah, it actually has it from earlier. Okay. I've tried to record this video several times, so it still has the uh still has the path. That's funny. So we'll go ahead and run the game. See if I can skip any of this. No? Yes, no. Mm. Continue. Yeah, it's still gonna have my saves. Uh this is gonna be fun. So let me show you something. I learned this from one of my previous recordings. One second. So if I go to my inventory, right, a lot of what I have changed in my actual game are item max sizes. So you can see here the ride pod fuel, right? Uh, you may have noticed it's not supposed to be that high. Uh, in fact, in my modded gameplay, it's up to like, I think I changed it to 20, but the default is 5. So this is overstacked. Um, may have a few more that are overstacked. Some food items, definitely. I think uh, bread is only supposed to be 20, but I have like 49. I think the max that I have set in my modded game is 50, I think. Uh, and a few other things. I don't think this is supposed to be that high, this either. Um, yeah, but you see, if I try to leave now, I can't. <laughs> so it wants me to throw some things away, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to close the game. Uh, but that's a neat thing, and I'll show you all how to do that in the in the videos coming up. But yeah, with that said, that's all that I had planned for this video. And to find out the rest, you're going to have to watch the other videos if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, you could leave and come back. And um, with that, yeah. Uh, just if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, if it helped you do what you were looking to do, to go ahead and drop a like and you can subscribe maybe. And maybe look forward to videos like this in the future. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to do. But yeah, that said, thanks, and I'll see you guys later.